There's nothing like taking a nice woman out to dinner, to a fancy place, getting dressed up. You ain't gotta get like super dressed up, but wearing something nice. And then you go to a restaurant with nice ambiance and y'all chill, you know what I'm saying? No Jordans or any other kind of tennis shoes, no sweatsuits, no jeans. But I ain't talking about no feathers either and all that ballroom gowns. No, but just put on something nice. I enjoy doing that. You know, because, you know, your brother got a little class over here. Money green, you know, was raised right. However, I came across this. And the responses are really interesting. This video is brought to you by Rap Snacks, Cardi B's Jerk Barbecue Wavy Potato Chips. So, it says, if a man spends this much on dinner, should he be able to smash? And y'all know smash means have sex. I don't like the term, you know what I'm saying, but that's just the love in me. But smash is the term that's uh, currently being used, used to be cutting, used to be some other stuff. Anyway, the man supposedly spent $226.85 on dinner with this young lady. And the items are interesting, but should he be guaranteed sex if he spends this much money? Now, what's funny is a lot of women were like, oh yeah, you know, if it's a real nice place, oh yeah, we getting down with the get down. You know, we got to finish the night off. Plus, he may take me out there again. So, you know, saw some people say that then I saw some uh, some men saying she better you know what I'm saying I spend that much money shoot she gonna take them panties off I was like ooh but I expected that and then you had uh, some woman was saying my vagina is way more expensive it's worth way more than $226 it's like your vagina if you put a price on it it's worth whatever someone is willing to pay for it. So what's the blue book value? Ask Corey Holcomb all about that. What's the blue book value of that vagina? And you find out what it's worth. You know what I'm saying? And the market goes up and down. That's for those who put a price on it. But let me give you my take on it because there are a few different ways to look at this. Number one, we're going by the scenario that these two have never had sex before. And they're not, they're probably not boyfriend and girlfriend, or they're probably filling each other out. But they know, you know, some maybe it's the first date or second date. Alright. This ain't no Netflix and chill stuff. This right here, they put some money into this. So, should a man be guaranteed sex if he spends $226 on dinner? I'm gonna tell you like this. Off the top, nothing is guaranteed. Unless you have a contract, which you shouldn't for sex or anything. Unless you have a contract with somebody in anything, verbal or written, nothing is guaranteed. So, when you go into a dinner, on a nice date, when you go into a dinner and y'all sit down and y'all eat something real nice, look on here. Filet mignon, 10 ounce or $48. Tender seared lobster. Or tender, yeah, tender seared with lobster. $56. So that's over $100 right there. When you sit down and you enjoy things like this, you better be prepared for whatever comes your way. You know what I'm saying? She can get a stomach ache and she can roll out. She can say, just take me home. Maybe I met there. She can say, thank you for a nice time. And she drives off and you let the drive home instead of, you know, following you home or whatever. You never know what to expect. So, don't put yourself in a situation where you think spending a certain amount of money is going to get you what you want. Men do that all the time. They buy you a, a tennis bracelet or buy you some shoes or take you out somewhere nice and spend a lot of money on you just because they think, you know what, she's going to go for this and I'm going to get up in them, you know, up in them panties. So here's a school of thought that I'm from. I would rather spend this much money on a woman that I care about doesn't have to be somebody that related to me doesn't have to be somebody uh, that I've known for a long time 
but I would rather spend this much money on someone I know will appreciate it. And someone that I care about. And I could be, I care about the person's company, care about the person's well-being, or I just care about having fun with this person because the person is great company. Or the person or the woman is very intelligent. I really enjoy intelligent women. So sitting down with some great conversation with a very intelligent woman, I spend this much money. That's no problem at all. I would rather sit down with, I used to be a teacher. So say I had dinner with the mother of one of my students. I would rather take her out and show her a nice time and we have great conversation than to go out here and meet somebody and try to roll the dice and hope I can have sex. Because if your mindset is on point and your mouth is on point and your communication is on point, you shouldn't have any problem as a man getting sex. There should be no problem there. But some men lead with their pocket. Instead of tapping into what a woman likes, how a woman feels, how a woman thinks, what a woman enjoys. That's where I come in. So I operate over there. Now some men, I know some brothers who, they just roll up uh, expensive cars or expensive rims, expensive jewelry or whatever. And that gets them in the door and that gets them to the bedroom. And you know, you just got some women that they go for that. And then you have some men that take a different route. And I'm one of those. So the quality time is, is what gets me. You know what I'm saying? I have uh, about four platonic woman friends that I've known for a long time. I mean, two or three decades since we were little. I would rather take one of them out and invest in our friendship and sit back and have a good time, laugh, cut up, talk about old times, talk about their kids, talk about my son, and just really enjoy life. I would rather invest in that and see a real sexy woman and say, you know what, I'm going to take her out and spend $226 on dinner for her. Nope, I wouldn't do that because afterwards, she can go her way. She can go out with another dude because some women are food diggers. All they want to do is be taken somewhere nice. I have a couple of friends like that. They're like, I'm hungry. Let me find somebody to take me out to eat. I'm like, who? What? Where you know him from? They say, oh, I, he just, this dude that's been sweating me. He's been asking me to uh, go out on a date, whatever, whatever. So I'm going to make him take me to such and such. Ruth Chris or whatever, whatever. I said, oh, okay. And But she said, trust me, I will be home by such and such time. So I need you to call me at nine o'clock. Just so I can have, you know, an escape route. And I said, okay, well, I got to go. It's been nice seeing you. And, I, and, I, and that's how she does. She rolls out like that. I can't remember what the other one does. But I'm not being put in that predicament. So if I meet somebody and this is our first or second date, oh, no, we're not going anywhere near this. Unless it's Taraji or Tedra Moses, Ari Lennox, somebody like that. Yeah, they get this. Because this Mr. Childs, this bill right here is Mr. Childs bill, uh, Maestro's out in LA. That's what these prices reflect right here. So when you go somewhere and you put all this money to somebody, just be prepared for it not to go the way that you wanted to go. Now, I will go somewhere like this by myself. If I'm not taking somebody that I care about or meeting somebody that I can invest more time and energy into, I go there by myself before I meet somebody at a club or meet somebody at a mall and say, yeah, I'd like to take you out, girl. Girl, I'd take you out to uh, Morton's, take you out to Roof Chris. I'd take you to, to uh, Crustaceans. Oh, yeah. And uh, D.L. Hewley, he tell you straight up in one of his old stand-ups. He said, you take a to a restaurant and when she goes... Uh, looks past the grilled chicken and looks past the burgers and look past the, uh, the baked chicken or whatever. And she goes over here into the filet mignon lobster uh, section. He said, you know, that's the inside of the menu, right? If you order anything from that side of the menu, oh, we the night. 
So some guys like that, I don't roll like that. And uh, it's just interesting. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Should have, you know, should a man be guaranteed some sex if he spends this much money? And just looking at this bill right here, <laughs> if you take out the Bohemian, which sounds like a drink in the Hennessy, and what else? I think those are the only two drinks. You add up everything else, and it's like a, a party of three. Add up that clam chowder, the calamari, that's what, $38. And you go down to the, let me see, Brussels sprouts, $38, 40, $50, $60, $61, 60, that's $68. If you add up the Brussels sprout, uh, yeah, the Brussels sprouts, cream spinach, small asparagus, clam chowder, calamari, man, that comes out to be more than the lobster and more than the steak. So, look here, if you want to spend this much money, you better have a good time with the person at dinner and then if you get some fun after dinner you get some sex after dinner hey that's the bonus you know what I'm saying and some brother was like he said look if she ain't gonna give me any sex she better at least give me a hand job you know on the way back to the car or something so some interesting uh, responses but not gonna ever catch me spending this much money and then leaving as if I took a loss because I'm not taking any L's when I'm spending money at dinner time. I really enjoy eating at the Four Seasons. And the Four Seasons will give you a bill like this. The Four Seasons restaurant inside the Four Seasons hotel. It got some nice food. French fries cooked in duck fat. The, the steaks. The f Great food. Great food. And uh, I'm talking about from New York to L.A. to D.C. Georgetown great food in some of these restaurants so that's it for me y'all let me know what y'all think i appreciate you watching please subscribe if you haven't done so yet i really appreciate you being here i'm money green talk to me make money money go shopping soon another video will be dropping